Jägermeister. This is a shit. Oh my god. It's so good. The reason my hair is not brushed or anything is because I'm just about to go on set and they require me to, um, you know, for like an extra gig. I'm not going to tell you like what it is because that would violate my contract with them. But basically, I'm not allowed to like brush my hair or wear any makeup or anything. So I kind of. <coughs> I'm taking advantage of looking like a hobo. Today we're going to talk about the cusp of Cancer and Leo. If you want to know like the basics about this cusp, you can check out my other videos. I will post a link to them. Um, but this is like the love life aspect. If you were born on this cusp, then you are water and fire together, which makes you very, very, very interesting when it comes to emotions and love. Sun and moon, oh my god, that's like feelings and ego all in one. This is going to be the overall video, so remember if you want to learn more about individual cusps or individual signs you are, you know, compatible with or whether you're compatible with them, I'll make separate videos for that. So this is the overall summary. A Cancer Leo cusp has a great sense of humor and they love to make their partner laugh. If they can't make their relationship laugh, like if they can't make the other person laugh or smile, then it's doomed. Okay, so make sure that the other person has a good sense of humor and can appreciate yours. Okay, Cusper? A lot of people in this cusp are kind of drawn to drama. They might not even want to admit it, but they like it. And if they aren't in a dramatic relationship, then Often they watch reality shows because that's kind of their thing, you know? So if you watch The Bachelor, Crystal, oh god. You might end up just like jumping into a relationship because it seems fun and entertaining even though it's kind of risky and not really supposed to work out. You crave passion, it is so important to you. You think with your heart and you feel all your thoughts and like you really need a passionate, loving relationship. The other good thing about you is even though you're kind of mood swingy, you know how to take things slow. And the thing is, when another person you meet takes things slow, it's like they're the one because they have that patience and it's kind of a sense of detachment, but you want to explore things further and so it drives you crazy. Your best match is someone who enjoys how funny you are, but also someone who can kind of give you the spotlight once in a while. You need a sense of stability and predictability in the relationship. Like, you like dreaming of what's ahead, you know, of commitment. You want to know what to expect. And like I said, someone who isn't fully someone you understand or someone who kind of plays hard to get is often the kind of person you're drawn to. You also have the tendency to date like pessimistic people or people who are kind of down on themselves and then you kind of take the role of the savior like you have to save them and you think that they just have more emotion or more depth but really they're just downers like they're depressing. So you have to kind of stay away from that and try to stick around people who are more positive because you're very empathic and so downers are going to get you down way more than most people. The other thing is you can't be with people who try to save you. You have a very nurturing side and you can see people's weaknesses a lot, which really helps in dating. Like, you know when they're being vulnerable and you can appreciate that. But you also are a great salesman or saleswoman because, like, you know how to kind of manipulate that. It's not good to say, but it's true. And like I said, you do the saving. That's kind of the role you take on in the relationship, whether you like it or not. So if someone is trying to save you, that doesn't work well for you. You need a sense of security, okay? Before you find the one, like it's definitely a journey for you, finding true love, it's difficult. And before you find that one person, often they don't really appreciate you, the people you date along the way. And it's really hard to find that person that really like shares that with you and can appreciate you. When it comes to relationships, you're naturally a giver, but you also need like a sense of pride and dignity. And if that's not there, then screw it. Although you crave security and stability, you definitely need like to spice it up. And the idea of settling down just does not appeal to you. 
You don't want the same white picket fence that everyone else wants. Finding true love is not an easy task for you, but when you do find it, you can create the longest lasting relationships out of all the cusps. You may end up having to deal with someone who doesn't really think of you every single second of the day, but you're quite independent, so that might not bother you as much as it does some people, or say if you were just a Cancer. But you're a Cancer Leo, and you've got pride and dignity, and you don't need anyone to make you awesome. You are awesome. You like living it up, and you can really appreciate life and a good time. And you need someone who will do that with you, and who will also give you a chance to shine at the same time. You're very brave, and you like to take a leap of faith with people that no one expects you to be with. You like taking risks, and you're definitely good at acting. You can put on an act, you can put on a smile really well, convince anyone that everything's fine, but really, when you are hurting inside, it's not fine, right? So you have to really be able to decide when is a good time to put on that act. It's a defense mechanism at the same time. You may not let other people see the real you until later on. You are a terrible, like, stay-at-home parent. If you are a stay-at-home parent, then you always have to be doing something more. Uh, you're a very good parent, if you are, like, you are very good with kids. Um, but when it comes to, like, you have to be, like, productive, you know? You're like a chameleon. You can come across as shy, and sometimes others might not get to know you at the speed you even like. You're very mindful of your partner's needs, and you are a great advocate for yourself and for the people you love. When you start to feel vulnerable, your life just like turns upside down. I love you so much and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Remember, more to come and subscribe to my channel. You guys are awesome. Bye.